All right, joining me now with reaction, former U.S. Attorney Joe DeGeneva, House Oversight Committee Ranking Member Jim Jordan, and former Deputy Independent Counsel Robert Ray. Doesn't get better than this tonight. Joe, what does the impressive scope of this new probe uh, initiated by Barr tell us tonight? Uh, James Comey, Brennan, and Clapper have said to themselves, which one of us is going to pay the bar bill. The bar bill is coming due. And Durham's appointment means that the already occurred meetings between the attorney general, the CIA director, and the director of national intelligence have now focused on a laser that the core of this conspiracy began with John Brennan and ends with John Brennan in London and D.C. and the Democratic National Committee. This is very serious business, and for the first time, I now believe that some of these guys are going to go to prison. Wow. Um, you mentioned Brennan tonight, and oh, yeah. Congressman Jordan, we got some profound sound uh, from both Brennan and Clapper. This was Brennan today explaining what's going on with this new probe. Let's watch. It went through a rigorous due process within the Department of Justice, the FBI. It was approved by the FISA court. It went through all of those steps. What they're trying to do is to uncover something that they will misrepresent as being part of this deep state effort to try to undermine Donald Trump's election. It was all copacetic. Congressman, it was That's approved, what he wanted to believe. went through the FISA court. The, you're investigating the investigators. It's an embarrassment. You heard it. No, he used the term uh, misrepresent. The only misrepresentation is what they did with the, with the dossier in front of the FISA court, where they didn't tell the court who paid for the document. They didn't tell the court that the guy who wrote it, Christopher Steele, was desperate How serious to is Trump. this tonight? I mean, and this, the other networks are poo-pooing this, no, saying no, no, this, this is, is fantasy land for conservatives. I think this is very serious. I think it's Bill Barr doing what he said. Remember, when he was in front of the Senate Finance Committee four weeks ago, he said he was serious about putting together a team to get to the bottom of this. He said there was a four key things. There was a failure of leadership at the upper echelon of the FBI. We know that's true. He said spying took place. He said it twice. He said there's a basis for his concern about the spying that occurred. Right. And finally, the two terms he used, I said this last week in the committee hearing, he used two terms that should scare every single American. He said uh, unauthorized surveillance mm. and political surveillance. Those things are not supposed That's to happen. That's what China in the, does. Exactly. Joe, you and I talk. To this, this is this country. what China does. He this wants is to get what to the Russia bottom of does. It. They're, they're, uh, uh, Robert Ray, I got to get you in on this because they're accusing, they accuse Trump of basically spooning with Vladimir Putin to get to get elected. Okay, and yet, yet they use uh, autocratic, dictatorial means to surveil the Trump campaign to get the information that they claimed was going to be there. Of course, it not, never was there. And now we have the DNI involved and we have the CIA involved with a man as serious as Bill Barr. He was not cowed one bit by what they tried to do to him last week, was he, Robert? Well, Congressman Jordan is right. I mean, this isn't a question about whether the procedural steps were followed. This is a question that first is exploring bias and whether that had an impact on what was or wasn't disclosed to the FISA court, which, to answer your question, Laura, is a serious issue. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a case in the Supreme Court about this Franks versus Delaware, which uh, all prosecutors and agents are, are familiar with. And it's a serious question now that's going to be explored by a prosecutor, after all. This is not duplicative of Michael Horowitz's investigation because the IG doesn't have prosecutorial authority to actually bring charges. But in this instance now, as the result of Bill Barr's appointment, uh, there is going to be an investigation, the purpose of which is to determine whether or not any crimes were committed, which is Joe De DeGeneva's point. Uh, well, crimes committed. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. th this is... This is now explaining why they threw so much mud at a man like Bill Barr, with the history exactly. and the reputation he has. What's the most dangerous thing out there? Someone who has nothing to lose? Bill Barr made a lot of money. You never, he, you never, he didn't need this job, you right? Ne you never kick the bear. Oh, no. And let me tell you something. Horowitz has already concluded that the final three FISAs were completely illegal. He's now on the brink of finding that the first FISA was completely illegal. Durham has already used a grand jury in Connecticut. They've already gotten documents. He's already talked to the intel people. How long has this been going on? Do we really know how long uh, this... It, Durham's been working for a couple of months. So wow. the, the bottom line is this. This is now big time. 
This is where Brennan needs five lawyers. Comey needs Have five they lawyered? lawyers. Are they lawyered up sufficiently? Well, I hope that? Comey has someone other than Mr. Richmond to whom he leaked his memos, mm -hmm. his little Patrick special Fitz Isn't Patrick Fitzgerald the old, uh, yeah. another uh, prosecutor hey, I don't like? nothing like a sleazy pos no, prosecutor no, uh, to represent yeah, at this point. Another horrible, he did the Conrad oh, he's, Black, uh, he's an outrage. Patrick Fitzgerald's a disgusting. Horrible, horrible Remember prosecutor. Also, that's prosecutor. the U.S. attorney who was also looking into Jim Baker, the former chief counsel yeah. of the FBI. So that's where that, that investigation was also taking place. Right. So I think, that's, I think that's interesting. That's who... Bill Barr selected. And it's not just the dossier. Remember what we learned two weeks ago. The New York Times reported that the FBI put someone posing as someone else and by George Papadopoulos. He talked him about so yeah. those are two cases where well, I want to took place. I want to play Papadopoulos. We also have to play uh, Bernie Sanders, who was out there tonight talking about this. But I want to play Papadopoulos first since you raised it, Congressman. I want to get you and Ray and Joe to talk about it. Let's watch. I fly to Greece, I have dogs sniffing for money, I leave the money in Greece, I'm then arrested in a savage-like manner at Dulles with agents rummaging through my bags looking for money. So uh, clearly this was some sort of sting operation, and uh, by the time it happened, the special counsel was appointed. Now, he was caught up in this. They were dangling money at him, at least. I mean, and, and this was, they all knew how this was all going to go. This was all rolled out according to plan until it wasn't. They put somebody posing as somebody else with George Papadopoulos and start asking all these questions early on in this in, this entire investigation. And that was so, what kicked it all off, up exactly. supposedly, correct? Back in July of 2016. Right. So Bill Barr has said he's going to get to the bottom of it. He's now appointed someone to head that team up that he said he was going to appoint together. That is a good thing. Let's get to the bottom of this so that nothing like mm -hmm. this, if everything that we think happened did, this should not happen in the United States of America, and that's what we got to prevent. And we still haven't gotten to the bottom of the Hillary Clinton email scandal, which is the other thing they have to touch. But I've got to play this Bernie Sanders. Of course, one of the Democratic frontrunners had this to say today about the launch of this new investigation. Trump does all of the time. He tries to divert attention from the realities and the problems that are associated with the White House or, in fact, his campaign. Uh, you know, I, as I understand it, what the FBI did is they had reason to believe that there was collusion uh, and they investigated that collusion. So, no, I don't think we should be investigating the investigators. Of course not. But it's true on the other foot. He'd be doing a candlelight vigil right now, Robert. Uh, former, as a former independent counsel, do you agree with Bernie here? No, I mean, the president is right at the conclusion of the investigation. The Mueller investigation is over to wonder how we got on this path to start with. I mean, isn't that an appropriate question to ask? I mean, I'm not going to prejudge the outcome. I think, you know, unlike Democrats, you know, there's, there's no point in singing about what may come or what prosecutions may unfold. But clearly, it warranted a second look. That was why there was an IG investigation. And now the handoff is complete. It's now in the hands of a prosecutor with prosecutorial authority who will make a decision about whether or not any crimes were committed and whether or not it's appropriate to be, bring charges against those who were responsible. I mean, that's what you expect the Department of Justice to do, don't you? I mean, that's yeah, what I, I expect the so. Department of Justice yeah. to do. Not sign off on phony dossiers. I mean, Joe, Bill Barr um, said it was a big deal. It is a big deal. I mean, well, it's a big I mean, deal. Li liberals used to care about civil liberties, no matter whose civil liberties were being uh, tread upon. Trod upon? Tread upon? Tried. Trod upon. Thank you, Joe. Uh, but they used to care <laughs> about works. this, right? Yeah, don't get anything. I'm doing that with my kids' essays every night, checking their grammar. I got to check my own. But uh, I got to ask about something. This Don Jr. deal. They, they cut some deal for him to testify for the Senate Intel Committee, Richard Burr in his saddle. Uh, what, what is going on I, with I that? would have told him to stick it. Me too. And I would have, and I would have taken Jun the fifth. Why is John you know why? Ju Don Jr. doing that? Prophylactic use of the fifth. Look, look. What's I would going never on agree. now in the House and the Senate with Richard Burr, who is a disgusting Republican chairman? I'm so sick of Richard Burr, this phony Republican from North Carolina. Listen, Don Jr. has every right to believe that what's happening is abusive and vindictive, just like everything that's going on in the House. No citizen has to take that. They can invoke the Fifth Amendment because they're innocent and don't want to be put through a perjury. They didn't trap. have any problem with Lois Lerner they're invoking the Fifth Amendment. Mark Warner's running that committee right. of Democrats. They're That's calling, embarrassing. They're calling him back based on the testimony of a guy who went to prison last <laughs> Monday for lying to Congress. Cohen. And when he came in front of our committee, he lied <laughs> seven times. That, right. That's why they're calling back. That makes no yeah. sense. Guys, I could do a whole hour with this panel. Love this panel. Thank you so much, all three of you.